My name is Maria Gill, and I'm going to be talking about the big stick diplomacy. This basically meant that Roosevelt had the power to use military forces if he thought they were needed. This influenced Latin American and Caribbean countries because he stepped in and tried to maintain order, or he just did it because he thought the circumstances required it. Um, he might have had, he had his reasons and at the end he never did it with any bad intentions and i believe this was a good thing uh, at the time he stepped in in cuba after they had just gotten independent and maybe that's a reason that's the reason why he did it because he just wanted to make sure the country wouldn't get corrupted or get even more corrupted after it had gotten its independence um, and then he also used Marines to supervise um, finances in the Dominican Republic. Um, they stepped in over their government and make sure that the country wasn't doing anything corrupt that would was that was corrupted. He justified all of the things he did because these countries were basically um, dysfunctional to him. And at the same time, he might be right. But at the end, I feel like it wasn't in his hands to do this. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. I feel like it's really, it's controversial. Um, and he just said that he never had any intentions to take completely over these places. So um, if you may think that he did the right thing, you may think that some people thought that he didn't do this in with good intentions. At the end, he won Nobel, a Nobel Prize. And I believe that just shows that what he did was amazing. Because he said that he never wanted war. And that he just wanted order and a good civilization. Uh, well, that's basically it. Um, thank you for listening.